today i will discuss about prism and overview a prism is a refracting medium having two plane surfaces inclined at a finite angle in ophthalmic lens prisms are usually have curved rather than flat surfaces prisms are available as unmounted loose prisms mounted prisms in trial lens set prism bars that is available as horizontal and vertical prism bar prism may be used in conjunction with spherical cylindrical or spherocylindrical power now parts of prism refracting angle or apical angle refracting angle or apical angle of a prism is the angle between two surfaces and is denoted by the greek letter beta this is the apical angle of this prism which is formed by the two surfaces of this prism the greater the angle formed by the two surfaces at the apex the stronger the prismatic effect apex the apex of a prism refers to the point at which the two sloping surfaces of the prism meet each other in other words it is the highest point of the triangular sides of the prism here in this figure this is the apex of this prism base base of a prism refers to the surface opposite to the apical angle here in this figure this is the base of this prism edge the straight line at the apex in which the two surfaces of the prism meet is known as the edge of the prism now refraction through prism light ray passing through a prism deviated towards the base of a prism due to deviation of rays towards the base image shift towards the apex so prism shift light rays towards the base and shift image towards the apex here in this figure this is the incident ray this is the refracting ray this is the continuation of incident ray which is imaginary and this is the normal line that is perpendicular to the surface b and c the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called angle of incident and the angle between the normal and refracting ray is called angle of refraction the angle between the imaginary continuation of incident ray and refracting ray is called angle of deviation characteristics of image formed by a prism are erect virtual and displaced towards the apex unit of prism the power of a prism to bend light is measured in prism diopters one prism diopter produces displacement of an object by 1 cm when kept at a distance of 1 meter here this is a one prism diopter prism and this is a object which is kept 1 meter from the prism when rays from this object pass through this prism deviate towards the base and image shift towards the apex about 1 cm angle of deviation angle of deviation refers to the net change in direction of the light ray passing through the prism angle of deviation is denoted by the greek letter epsilon the angle of deviation of a prism depends on three factors one refractive index of the prism material two refracting angle of prism and three angle of incidence of the ray angle of deviation can be identified using the formula epsilon equal to beta multiplied by n minus 1 here epsilon is angle of deviation beta is angle of refraction and n is refractive index of the prism usually prism has a refractive index of 1.5 so the formula becomes angle of deviation equal to beta multiplied by 1.5 minus 1 or angle of deviation equal to beta multiplied by 0.5 or half of beta so the final outcome is angle of deviation of prism is equal to half of the refractive angle of the prism as a rule of thumb 
For crown glass having an index of refraction of 1.523, a prism having a refracting angle of 1 degree produces approximately 1 prism diopter of deviation. Now degree versus prism diopter. 1 degree is equal to 1.75 prism diopters and 1 prism diopter is equal to 0.57 degree. In practice, we generally consider 1 degree is equal to 2 prism diopter for easy calculation of deviation. Now prism versus ophthalmic lens. Prism is incorporated in ophthalmic lens through grind the prism into the lens by surfacing process. However, even a spherical and cylindrical lens will induce prismatic power whenever the visual axis passes through any point in the lens other than the optical center. Thus, a second method of providing prismatic power in an ophthalmic lens is to decenter the lens. The prismatic effect induced due to rays passing through the centered point of a lens can be identified using Prentice rule. According to Prentice rule, prismatic effect P equal to H multiplied by D. Here P is prism diopters of displacement, D is the dioptic power of the lens and H is amount of displacement of optical center in centimeters. For example, if the lens power is plus 2 diopter and the optical center is displaced by 6 mm, what will be the induced prism? Here D equal to 2, H equal to 6 mm or 0.6 cm. So prismatic effect will be 0.6 multiplied by 2 or prismatic effect will be 1.2 prism diopters. Now let's see an example. Suppose a prescription has two prism diopter base out prism in OD with refractive power in OD minus three diopter. Where will you mark the new optical center? Here P is equal to prism power which is two, D is equal to spectacle power which is three and H is equal to displaced or new optical center that we have to find out. We know that P equal to H multiplied by D or H equal to P divided by D or H equal to 2 divided by 3 or displaced or new optical center will be 0.66 cm or 6.6 mm. So the new optical center will be 6.6 mm displaced or away from the actual optical center. In the next presentation, I will discuss about effects of prism in eye movement. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.